about to go racing at Donington Park. Red lights go on. And they go out. Away they go. Pretty even start by the two cars on the front. In fact, a slightly better start from Andrew Harding in the number 77. He's uh, got into a clear lead, actually. That's Jack Dwayne, who's made a brilliant start in the first of the 182s that show. Number one, the per black and turquoise car. He's got up to third place from eighth on the grid. That's a great start for him. There's one in the gravel already at Redgate Corner, but it uh, gets its way back out again so the car's heading down through the crane curves for the first time and it was a decent lead for Andrew Harding but look Jack Dwayne's up to second now from row four of the grid he's going to lose that position on the apex of the old hairpin he may end up coming out of it fourth but uh, quite spectacular the car that came off uh, at uh, Redgate back on I see Greg Hill in the middle of that son of the great super saloon ace Mick Hill the late Mick Hill from Derby in that bright green car but look at this there were three wide into McLean's there briefly. They've let the race leader, Andrew Harding, escape, though. The double winner from the Silverstone National Circuit uh, about two and a half months ago now. He has got a big lead already from Owen Rosser in second. Jack Dwayne. Oh, and there's contact there. That's number 40, Scott Edgar, involved. And there's three of them off. Uh, two 182s and a 197 all involved there. Off on the grass on the inside of Coppice Corner. It looks like they've all escaped from that, though. Yellow flags are waving in the background, though, suggesting someone may have come to a halt. So down to the chicane for the first time. That's the 111 car of Nick Harrison, who's in about fifth or sixth position, I think it was, as they came through. But it's Andrew Harding at the end of the first lap that has the, uh, the lead by just under two seconds. From number 53, Owen Ross in second place. Jack Dwayne is there in third place, number one. And it's Nick Brady, number 33, that's come through in fourth position at the end of the lap. He started in ninth place. So a hectic first lap, Marcus. Amazing, isn't it? Then you've got the guys who started eighth and ninth now running third and fourth, having steer clear of trouble. That's what it's all about in these uh, in these single make uh, races. Everything is so tight, so dramatic uh, in there. Everything happens uh, in very, very short order. And uh, if you can make up a few places in that first couple of laps, chances are you'll keep them. Absolutely right. So we're watching number 53, Owen Ross there, the double winner from Pembrey last time out. He's in second place, chasing after the race leader, Andrew Harding. The lap record for these cars are 122.15. That's for the 182s. It's the first time I've had the 197s uh, racing here. You can see on the infield there a bumper. That may well be Scott Edgar's bumper. Uh, after the instant at Coppice on the first lap. Yellow flag still waving there. Yep, down they come into the chicane. It's hard braking. It's interesting to see whether Owen Rosser in the red car can make some ground. He's very neat through there, not using any kerb on the exit, which is the way to go. Uh, still with that novice cross uh, on the boot, so he's a, a newcomer to uh, to racing. And great to see a newcomer running so well up the field. Uh, yeah, he's yeah, had pace from the uh, right from the off. Uh, in his first foray into circuit racing, but uh, didn't immediately get the results to, to go with that at Croft. That car there, which is the 111 car of Nick Harrison, which is just in the best lap of the race, that's got some bodywork flapping in the breeze. I think he may have got involved a little bit with uh, some of that contact yes, on the opening lap. The rear sort of bumper valance thing yeah. is just hanging off on the side, and it probably won't go anywhere. Uh, yes, you can see that's acting as an air brake coming down through the crane of curves into the old hairpin. Then car number 111. Uh, Nick Harrison running in sixth place overall. There's Dwayne just going through. He's being chased by Nick Brady in number 33, so he's in the second of the Class A cars. That's the 182s. It's 182345 at the minute, I think, because I think uh, oh no, Chris Lawrence has just lost out to Nick Harrison, hasn't he? Harrison up to fifth position at the start of this lap. 11 minutes of the race left to go. Rosser with fastest lap on a 122.76. Uh, which would have put him about fourth on the grid. In fact, he finished up above that, so uh, um, good uh, good pace from the off. That's right. So there is uh, Harrison coming down towards the chicane once again, and he's got uh, Lawrence now behind him, I think, in the 56 car. Um, ben Swift, I think, is the, is the next car through. So they complete uh, three laps of that race. Also, yes, confirmation that he has got the best lap, 122.76. Don't think we've seen any improvements that time through. They go three wide further down the order. That's all three 182s as well involved in that is the number 65 car, which is Andy Bennett. And right behind them is Greg Hill battling game with that novice. He's, uh, he's into um, radio control cars in a big way in Derby. 
but I uh, remember his father building the, the V8 Capris, the uh, amazing VW Beetle Chevrolet, the Phoenix Skoda, and uh, also ran the Jaguar for a while, the Taylor 24 Jaguar. But uh, there is uh, uh, Greg Hill in that bright green car in the mix. Uh, he's running 17th overall. Yeah, this is 13th down to sort of 17th or so that we can see on screen there at James Hayden. It was in the number 83 car at the front of that particular group. Let's watch the 115 car go through. That's uh, Andrew Dyer, the driver from uh, Pontypridd. Still Andy ha Andrew Harding leading then by uh, still only about two seconds, 1.95 seconds the margin at the end of lap three from 53 Owen Rosser in second place. They're just crossing the line now to complete their fourth lap in fact. And then it's number one Jack Dwayne in third. He's being chased by Nick Brady number 33 and that time through Brady took about a quarter of a second out of Jack Dwayne in the battle for the uh, Class B or the Class A I should say lead for the 182s we're continuing to watch number 115 which is Andrew Dyer he's in 16th place in the middle of that scrap which actually involves about half of the field at the moment Marcus it's quite amazing yeah and this is where if you make a little mistake and you run a bit wide you could lose three or four places very very easily Greg Hill up the inside there uh, in the bright green car he, he started racing what, a, was it a couple of seasons ago, um, came out just occasionally. He's never, right. never done a, a, a full season by any stretch of the imagination. He's out there with uh, battling with Andrew D Dyer in that uh, 115 car. As I say, he's a camper converter. He's uh, in his mid-30s. And he only started racing uh, last year originally in the City Car Cup, but he switched to the Clio's now, this RTW Motorsport prepared car that he's recently purchased. And who's that just ahead of them on the road? That's Gareth Tansy, I think, isn't it, in the number 26 car and as well. And there's two more homing in on them as well. So uh, that's a really lively battle. And Gareth Tansy, who's 45. Ooh. There's one off. Back on again. It thought he was heading off into the gravel trap there, but uh, just kick up the, just the exit of coffee. Did the right thing. Kept his right foot hard on the gas, uh, which pulled him through it and out of it, which was great. Fastest lap then, Owen Rosser has improved to a 122.65. 122.65, still not down to uh, quality times. It's Harding from Rosser, from Dwayne, from Brady, that's the top four. Yeah, as we're watching uh, the race leader there, and the gap has come down, hasn't it? 1.04 with Rosser doing that best lap of the race on the previous lap. He was seven tenths faster than uh, Andrew Harding that time through. So you've got the two leads, not quite nose to tail yet, but certainly Andrew Harding's going to have a fight on his hands for the second half of this race, just under half of it left to go, seven and a quarter minutes at the moment. They are climbing up towards Coppice for the sixth time. It's probably going to be, I would think, an 11 lap race that we get out of this. Have we had the lap record gone yet? No, we've not. That's still with James Park, that 122.15 from September 2019. So no breaking of the lap record yet. I wonder if that will happen at some point today. They're about half a second outside us at the moment. Yeah, this is the exciting bit if you're doing the chasing and the frustrating bit if you're doing the leading because uh, uh, you can see the whole thing is just getting tighter and tighter and tighter. And as they go through, uh, Owen Rosser uh, only half a second behind then. And that's a new fastest lap to him in the red car. Number 53, Owen Rosser, 122.59. Yeah, very good effort indeed for the man from uh, Dunmo in Essex to take the fight to the uh, to the race leader. Still Jack Dwayne leading among the 182s, by the way, in car number one, and Nick Brady second within that class. I see some drivers recovery after some early incidents. Spencer Stevenson up to sixth place now in, uh, in car number 12, as we're picking up uh, the battles further down the order, and... Oh, battles all the way down the field there. That's the number 31 car, Chris Page, going through in 23rd position with Brian Craver taking a slightly bizarre line behind him. Most odd, but uh, as they come down to the Craner curves, which is a very dramatic part of the circuit, it, it plunges much more than the, the picture kind of shows uh, on our screens. It's wonderful to go there and to get your car set up, whatever it is, for the old hairpin and take the maximum speed you can through the apex is really rewarding. Absolutely right. So we'll try and have another look at the battle for the lead in a moment because there's only half a second between the front two. That's the 32 car of Matthew Orcutt. He's in 25th position, so he's made up 
one place really from his starting place. He's got ahead of Thomas Stevenson Joyce and we lost Scott Edgar after that first lap instant. He must have picked up too much damage to continue after that uh, contact at this part of the circuit at Coppice on the opening lap. He's second in the championship coming into this race so that's a, a big hit for him. Yeah, certainly is. A big... Uh, big setback for Scott Edgar who has been a winner this season in fact in the first round of the championship at Croft back in April. Uh, Scott Stevenson's got a five second penalty now it's showing on our screens and that will be for exceeding track limits. We've heard some of the drivers briefings this morning and uh, that's certainly been a matter that's been brought to ample attention of the drivers across various categories. I know there's quite a few track limits indiscretions in, uh, in practice this morning which meant that some drivers lost their best lap times. Here's that uh, five car train again. This is the back part of it. And uh, again, that distinctive car, Greg, Greg Hill, this time under pressure. And I think there's a little bit of damage on the front of the, uh, the car that follows. Uh, there's dust storm <laughs> they go through. We didn't quite see what happened there. Something uh, clearly has occurred. Could just be someone's gone wide and kicked up the dust because it's so dry still here. Not quite as parched as Snetterton was looking uh, last weekend. For those of you who watched the Alpha live stream from uh, 750 Motorclub meeting at Snetterton last weekend, that was just grim and off, well, into a desert of his own is, when the dust clears, that is 65, is it not? Andy Bennett, I think, that's gone off. Yeah, it is Andy Bennett that's gone off into the gravel trap and he's only managing to dig himself deeper in there Marcus. That's not going to happen is it? <laughs> but here's the rest of that, uh, that little battle and uh, the 22 card isn't it? The, the second place man, well, sorry to interrupt Marcus, has gone missing. Owen Rosser, the man who was in second place, is tumbling down the order and now I don't know if that's just a transponder issue or if Owen Rosser has actually disappeared. There's the battle for second as it now is on screen. Jack Dwayne and number 33, Nick Brady, but we'll see if we can possibly pick up around the circuit uh, any sign of the uh, of the red car fire. We did see that dust storm, didn't we? Mm. Half a lap or so ago, about a lap ago now. Wonder if that's connected. Uh, but we'll see if we can find the number 53 car. So there's oh, Dwayne then. Um, on circuit. And, and Dwayne is in one of the... Uh, uh, one of the 182s, isn't he? So yeah. um, he's running second overall now. 33, Nick Brady uh, in that uh, Graham Pink car. He is in third place. Nick Harrison up to fourth. Spencer Stevenson fifth, carrying that penalty. Green flags there at Coppice. That's for the car that we saw go off, isn't it? Of, uh, that was Bennett, Bennett, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. So Jack Dwayne coming through in second place. And at the rate we're going, going we're going to, get it, going to get even two of the 182s on the podium out of three, which would be... Uh, uh, quite something. They've just gone across the line to complete their ninth lap with just over two minutes to go. Is that Rosser just going through that there? It looked like it, didn't it? It was, yeah, in 12th place. 12th place. So his previous lap was a long lap. He lost 20 seconds, so I can only imagine he had been off the road, and it may well have been. That, that dust still we saw down at the bottom end of the circuit by the old hairpin. Uh, it might have been Owen Rosser that was the cause of that. And when it comes to their second races, uh, the grid is formed from the from fastest laps fastest think, laps I'm which checking that now put him well up the uh, put him on pole wouldn't it so far uh, because he's still quickest is that yes good tussle? it is the fastest lap from race one that sets the grid for race two as we're saying this is Richardson and Hayden isn't it uh, they're done in 12th and 13th places Greg Hill's dropped back to about 17th he's been shaken down the order yeah, there's Steve from Richardson. So Steve, as he prefers to be known, he's from uh, from Milton Keynes. Forty. He's gone uh, up the inside. He's made it through. Oh no! Well, 83's gone through there ahead of Richardson. So that's James Hayden that's made the place stick ahead for the window cleaner from Milton Keynes. It was wiped out there really by that uh, by that move. You can see the uh, the snatch vehicle going in to recover the Andy Bennett car. I think that was up at uh, up at Coppice into the last minute of the race. Yeah, there's the Andy Bennett car being uh, towed away under live snatch. The double waved yellow is there to, uh, to warn the drivers that uh, that's going on. And they'll find a gap in the, uh, in the wall to, to, to pull that car into. Owen oh, Ross is up to 11th, uh, but he has some ground to make up. He's going to stay there, isn't he? He's too far behind, I think. The top 10, Charles Shelbourne, would be his next target in kind of a 48. Mm. About uh, three seconds up the road, though, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. So misfortune for uh, for Rosser then, who 
uh, was challenging for the lead, you can only imagine, we didn't see it, that he managed to overcook his attempts to get through. And second in that class in the championship to, uh, to Nick Harrison coming in here. So uh, the minutes have counted down to zero, so Andrew Harding is still number 77 in the lead, otherwise he is going to be somewhere getting towards the chequered flag now, I'd think. If, if, unless he's just got on to start his final lap, we'll try and pick him up. No, I think that is him heading down to the chicane now. For Clock's the final ticked time. away. There's Harrison in fourth place and Spencer Stevenson in fifth, but he's got that five-second penalty. Here, though, is our race winner, Andrew Harding. Uh, comes through to take his uh, third victory of the season in the KTEC Racing Clio Sport Championship. He wins the 192 division as well. The 182 division and second place overall goes to number one, Jack Dwayne who's had a tough race there, been uh, challenged all the way through by number 33, Nick Brady. Fourth place goes the way of number 111, Nick Harrison, who takes second within his class. Fifth on the road is Scott Stevenson, but he's going to drop back several places, isn't he, to about ninth, I think, when his five-second penalty is applied. So that will ele elevate number four, Tim Bentley, up to uh, fifth position. Chris Lawrence, number 56, will be sixth, then Ben Swift number 47, Alex Hawkins, number 15, will be 8th. Then I think it will be Spencer Stevens, number 12, in ninth place. And Charles Shelbourne will round out the top 10 with Owen Ross, the man that was challenging for the victory and got the best lap of the race with a 122.59, which will give him pole position for race 2. Uh, he comes home in 11th position ahead of James Hayden, Stephen Richardson, Darren Ransom, Chris Keir, Gareth Tansey, Andrew Dyer, Olivier Algieri, Mark Witherington and Greg Hill will be the last of the finishers inside the top 20. So that's all of the KTEC Racing Clare Sport action for the moment. They have another race later on. That's at around about 25 past three this afternoon. Let's have a look at the result though from that one. Andrew Harding it was that uh, took the win. Uh, two seconds is eventual margin in car 77 over number one Jack Dwayne. Number 33 Nick Brady took uh, third place. Dwayne and Brady first and second in the 182 class. Nick Harrison, 111, took fourth. Spencer Stevenson's time will need to be corrected, which will drop him down a few places, but he was fifth on the road in number 12, ahead of number four. Tim Bentley, who was sixth on the road. Seventh, 56, Chris Lawrence. Eighth, 47, Ben Swift. Ninth, number 15, Alex Hawkins. And Charles Shelport, number 48, rounded out the top 10. Then it was Owen Rosser having dropped back about two-thirds of the way through that race. In 53, then 83, James Hayden, 7, Stephen Richardson, 30, Darren Ransom, 22, Chris Keir, Tansy Dyer, Algieri, Witherington and Hill completing the top 20. A few others did make it to the end. Brian Reed, Chris Page, Brian Craven, Matthew Orcutt and Thomas Stevenson Joyce completed 25 finishes. Andy Bennett ended in the gravel and Scott Edgar had first lap damage. So that's all from the Clio's for now. More from them later on. We've got one more race to come before the lunch break here at Donington Park. That is for the Tagiwa Taipa Trophy. That's going to be uh, another 15-minute race. More from the hat hot hatches, but uh, let's head down to the pit lane and here for the first time today from Josh Barrett. Thanks, Ian. Yeah, we're down here after our first race at Donington. Well done to Andrew Harding. Andy, I'll give you your winner's garland. Managed to make a good gap to start with. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, good start. Uh, got around. Uh, I saw Justin on the inside of the first corner, so I was a little bit cautious, um, and then just got the run. Uh, unfortunately, I think he got um, uh, there was something happened. I'm not sure what. He broke down or whatever. So uh, got it for him. But yeah, yeah, great race, and uh, just brought it home pretty steady at the end there. And <laughs> We saw Owen catch him. We didn't see what happened to him. Did you see what happened in your mirrors? Um, I assume it was mechanical. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what. Um, it was coming up onto the back straight, so uh, just before there, yeah. I'm not 100% sure. Obviously at Pembury, things didn't go too well. There was a bit of damage you can see on the side of the car. Yeah, did you have to do much to get the car back going well like you got this weekend? Uh, quite a bit, yeah. yeah. Yeah, quite a bit of work. Uh, trying to get it all straight again. Um, panels, uh, that's my little golf ball now. I'm not really worried about the panels too much, but, <laughs> but it was running true, so yeah, yeah. And back to now where we are at Silverstone, we've got your two wins there, back, yeah. back on top again here. Hopefully we can do the same again. <laughs> well done, Andy. Thank you very much. Congratulations to Andrew Harding, our first win of the day. The 182 winner was Jack Dwayne. We'll let Jack uh, take his helmet off and then we'll grab a word uh, with him. And a bit like Andy, Jack, you had a great start there, which really went well. I did, yeah, yeah. Yeah, start was really good. We've sort of um, got better at doing those because I'm one of those people that gets too excited and sits there just on the rev limit of spinning up so I've sort of honed that in a bit which is working really well um, and I'm just give you a better chance to get through the traffic but yeah. it was like three or four abreast I think through the top and I think there was a bit of a coming together I didn't feel anything but I know Nick got tapped and right. then 
we just got away, but I was spending more time doing silly hand gestures <laughs> to nick all the race. That was, that was really good fun. Really enjoyed it. And great points for the championship, yeah. yeah. Hey, you're good mates with Nick from what you're saying now. He's ace, yeah. <laughs> yeah, really good guy. So, um, yeah, we had a bit of a laugh last night about what could happen and yeah. that basically just happened. Yeah. So, yeah, it was really fun. Um, car's great. Um, tech gave me a really good car. So, yeah, good points. Not sure what lap time I've got for yeah. the second race, obviously, for the start, yeah. but we'll deal with that shortly so excited about that one <laughs> well done jack and good luck later then in third place over here was nick uh, brady so we'll grab a word with nick. well done nick uh, th third overall second in the class uh, and right on the back of jack all the way yeah insane you know to hang on to jack you know in pretty much my first season yeah was just unreal unreal <laughs> absolutely over the moon absolutely over the moon with that brilliant and johnny parker track you like then it is now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I did do a race here last year. Right. Um, and we did go really well. And we had an engine failure in race three. And at that point, I was laying sick, which was my, my best position at that stage yeah. of, of that season. That was, my, I think, my second race. Um, but, yeah, I mean, to come back and to have that. It was a bit, we were a bit lucky. There was a bit of carnage behind us. Someone hit me in the back really, really hard, yeah. coming up, I think, through what, the, the back coppice. Yeah. coppice. Um, and then there was a bit of carnage behind. But I'll take it. You've got to get it where you can. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And like, like Jack, you, you managed to work your way through the order on that first lap, and then it was yeah. just a nice battle between the two of you. Yeah, it was brilliant. And, you know, and obviously chasing Jack, I know I could push as hard as I could, and if I didn't push as hard as I could, he would get away. Yeah. And I was quite surprised to be able to hang on to him. Um, and then, yeah, and I, and I saw his, his tyres started to go, yeah. and I could see him sliding around and moving around. And I got to a point where I was, I was actually quite close to him around the back again, and then there was double yellows, so I had to back yeah. off. But... Uh, second man, I'm pleased with that. I'll take that all day long. Do you think you, mean, you were learning things following Jack around the circuit so closely? Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, some of his experience, you know, current champion and, and what have you, it's nice. He doesn't make any mistakes. <laughs> and that's the, and it's trying to, as strange as it may sound, following, with following Jack so closely and kind of being on our own, just the two of us, mm. I found that I could relax more. So you weren't sort of forcing the gears or overdriving. And it, yeah, it just, and, and I think that's what he does. So, yeah, yeah, definitely lesson learned. Well, best luck later putting all them back lessons into practice. Right, well done. Congratulations to our top three from our first race of the day at Donington Park. We have more racing coming up, though, and that's from the Tegirwa Type R Trophy.